We're looking good right now. It's a good start to the weekend and overall throughout the weekend forecast is pretty good. Yeah. So we're excited about that. We're not just excited because it's Friday. We're excited because it's Friday and the weather is going to be great for all of our high school football games going on this evening. We'll take a closer look at that in just a second, but I did want to give you a look around the region. So this is what we look like across central and north Alabama right now. Our temperatures, as you can see, range anywhere from the mid 80s to near 90. Sky is mostly clear. Let's take a closer look at downtown Birmingham. Just a few clouds in place from this view, but I don't have any rain in the forecast through the rest of the evening or the rest of the weekend. Maybe you're headed out to the Barons game this evening. The first pitch is at 7 p.m. and our temperature is going to be in the low 80s during the game. We are falling through the 70s, mainly clear sky. And uh, as I mentioned, for our high school football games, we're going to be really nice as well. The temperatures during the games in the 70s. Dry air around means we cool very effectively. So here's where I'm forecasting our temperatures early tomorrow morning. We're going to be in the low to mid 60s. There could be a few of our typically cooler locations that actually dip into the upper 50s early tomorrow morning. So a pleasantly cool start, but we talk about this a lot. The dry air not only cools effectively, it also heats effectively. So by tomorrow afternoon, although it feels pleasantly cool in the morning, we heat to near 90 degrees during the afternoon. Looking towards 9 a.m., you can see those temperatures approaching 80. And then by about lunchtime, we're in the low to mid 80s. During the late afternoon, that's when we see our highs near 90 degrees. But with the dry air, it doesn't feel hot and sticky. It just feels hot. And then by the evening hours, we are cooling into the 70s right around 10 p.m. Looking at your weekend forecast, a lot to love here. So tomorrow, as we just talked about, we end up near 90. Sunday, just a touch warmer and also a touch more humid. We do stay rain free, though. We'll break down the day for you hour by hour. Mainly clear sky, reaching that afternoon high right around 4 p.m. Uh, 10 a.m., look at that. We're in the 70s. So if you want to be out and about Sunday, we do still feel very pleasant in the early morning hours. It's the afternoon where it really starts to feel hot. If you think that's hot, just wait until our forecast for next week. I know we got that quick taste of fall this week and it felt great. We were getting excited. Well, we're going to be reminded that it is August by next week. Check out Monday, mid 90s, Tuesday, upper 90s, and uh, we don't stop there. Wednesday and Thursday, there are likely to be quite a few locations that actually touch the triple digits. And this is not your feels like temperature. This is just the temperature on your thermometer. We are likely to even feel hotter than the numbers you're seeing on your screen right there. So let's talk more about that seven day forecast for tomorrow morning. We begin in the 60s. We end up near 90 uh, once again on Sunday, beginning the day in the 60s, but it is a touch more humid by early next week. That's when we see those temperatures reaching into uh, the upper 90s. Looking more closely at Wednesday, the early morning hours will be in the 70s or already starting above average for this time of year. And then by the afternoon, we will heat into the triple digits in a lot of locations. I do believe this model overdoing it a little bit. I don't think everybody sees triple digits, but there will be some spots that feel very, very hot early in middle parts of next week.